In this video you will learn, how to install macOS 14 Sonoma, on your Mac, without losing your data, and the existing operating system. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends Apple today, announced the next version of macOS, called, macOS Sonoma. macOS Sonoma is a new operating system for Apple computers, but it's currently available in the developer beta version. If you want to test and install this new operating system on your Mac, then I will highly recommend you install it on a separate partition. It's the best way to test out the new macOS 14 without compromising your current data and keeping your already installed macOS for important work. And here's the step-by-step -step process. The first thing you need to do is check your Mac compatibility with macOS 14. For your convenience, in the video description, I have provided a list of computers that are compatible with macOS 14. If your computer is on the list, then feel free to go to step number 2. In step number 2, make sure you have enough storage space on your Mac for installation. Your Mac needs 20 to 30 gigabytes of free hard drive space for smooth installation. The next step is back up your important data. Although, this procedure is very safe, but it's always a good idea to back up your Mac before installing any beta version of Mac. This way, if something goes wrong during the installation, you can restore your data from your backup. You can back up your Mac using Time Machine or another backup method. After you have done all these things, you have to create a new APFS volume on your Mac. To do so, please open your Disk Utility application. Disk Utility app is located in the Utilities folder of your Applications folder. Once the Disk Utility app is opened, Navigate to the View menu, and then select, Show All Devices. From the left-hand side, select the container disk of your hard drive, and click on this plus icon, in the toolbar. Give the new volume a name, and then, click Add button, to create the new volume. That's all. A new APFS volume, will be added to your hard drive. Now close the Disk Utility app, and go to the next step. For the next step, we require the macOS 14 Developer Beta Installer. You can download macOS 14, with or without a developer account. We have already created a step-by-step -step video on this topic, the link is in the video description. After downloading, the macOS 14 Installer should open automatically. However, if it does not open, then go to your application folder and click on macOS 14 Installer. Now click on the Continue button. Agree to the macOS 14 terms and conditions. Click on Show All Disks. Select the APFS volume you created earlier and click the Continue button. Please enter your admin password and hit the Enter key. And that's all. The installer will start installing macOS 14 on the new APFS volume. This is the first step of the installation. Once it's done, your computer will restart and the second and final step of the installation will begin. During this time, your computer may restart several times, which is normal. So please don't worry. The entire process is automatic and requires no action on your side. This process can take 30 to 40 minutes. It depends on your hardware configuration. So be patient. When the installation is complete, you can use the new macOS 14 without affecting your old operating system. So friends, this is how you can install macOS 14 developer beta on your Mac. As soon as macOS 14 is installed, I will make a video of its new features and tips and tricks. So please keep in touch and subscribe to MZ Learning. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.